Hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Um, this tank just looks bare. I ripped out my dwarf hair grass in anger because it kept flowing to the top. It was melting. I'd replant it. Barbers would pick at it. It would flow back up to the top, damage it. And um, I also made the mistake of keeping dwarf hair grass in pea gravel. Apparently it does a lot better in uh, fine gravel and sand. And the problem with that is I hate sand and I hate fine gravel because it's kind of messier. Well, actually, I've never tried fine gravel, but I do hate sand. So, um, this tank, I'm probably going to add some art plant at a later time. Something simple. Maybe next month or so. Get a whole bunch of hygrophila along the back, and maybe some type of foreground plant in the front. I don't know what type yet. All the fish are doing pretty good in here. I just did a pretty large 10% water change. I haven't changed the water in this tank in three weeks, which obviously means the plants were doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping the uh, nitrogen down. And right now my fish look like demons because my light on my phone is on because the illumination in my room isn't that good. Now, um, this tank here, I'm rather disappointed in this tank also. I haven't been putting much effort into aquascaping this tank at all. I just wanted it to be a simple thing, simple tank for the Scarlet Battis. I gotta do something about this detritus. I got a snail colony building up, you know, today during the water change I probably removed some of the snails unintentionally. Uh, I'm probably going to end up buying a whole bunch of trumpet snails. Like probably say 20 trumpet snails, I'm going to put like 10 of them in here and 10 of them in the air tank. And I'm going to let them eat away all that to try. Then I might start to add a shrimp colony. Uh, next semester I'm probably going to get some fish, line. I'm going to tie this java, java, java moss onto the... Uh, Onto, onto the driftwood, and then I'm going to add some uh, java fern, large java ferns, all along the back and all along the sides. That's why I plan to do this tank. So if any of you can give me a, some advice on what are some really simple and easy to keep freshwater plants, like freshwater foreground plants. I'm a fish guy, not plant guy. I'm nowhere near as good as like Dustin or Mr. Mom or uh, even Rick, even the Rick. I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere at their level when it comes to keeping plants. So um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.